Hey guys, welcome to GoFries. In this video, I'll be telling you why you should avoid this kind of clip for your AMD processor. Now, let's begin by understanding how um, this, uh, there's such a problem where heat sink sticks to the processor. This is because of the surface here and after you apply thermal paste, depending on the type of paste, after you place the cooler and all that, it may stick due to the suction from the paste and there are problems where users yank it out and the processor comes along with it. So in order to avoid this kind of thing happening, what you do is you power on the processor, heat it up a bit, wriggle it around before remove, and it's pretty much done. So typically, that's how it is. For AMD coolers like this Wraith Prism, it's a non-issue, typically because, you know, the clip, all you have to do is get the clip in place and have the latch hook secured and it's done. And if, even if you unhook the latch, it's independent of the heatsink. Same with other third-party coolers. For example, a Be Quiet cooler like this one. When you have the, the brackets ready, it's held in place by a piece like this. So it's non-issue. The retention bracket is separated from the heatsink. However, the Ozai cooler, of which I reviewed and gave it a negative verdict, well, it's actually worse than I thought. I had used this on my gaming rig and I had never thought of this issue until I tried to remove it the other day and it gave me a fright because what happened was that, you see this kind of clip, they required you to apply pressure to hook. Notice how it hovers like this. This means you have to apply pressure and then even more pressure to clip it and later when you remove it, let's say you remove one side of the clip, it will spring. What happens if it springs and the thermal paste happens to be securely giving it a suction? That's what happened to me. My processor came out and I got a fright. I thought I had damaged my pressures. Ryzen 5 3600, of which is a very good overclocker. So yeah, this is what I'm trying to tell you. If you see coolers with this kind of mounting bracket, please do not use such a cooler for your AMD processor. Because if you, even if you manage to heat it up, I have no way to, I, even anyone has, no one has a way to guarantee that your, um, this, spring will not be dragging your processor out together. There, there might be a suction and if it's there, it's going to be like what happened to mine. It dragged out. And in my case, I had fans on it and the fans were um, on the casing and such. So it was hanging like this. And I had to quickly detach the fan and so remove it and Fortunately, my 3600 was not damaged. It was a close call. So with this, um, there's no talking head, but I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Do not get any cooler with this kind of mounting mechanism for, um, especially if you're an AMD user. If you're an Intel user, I don't see a problem with that because Intel processors have a, a bracket to or what do you, whatever you call it, um, a mechanism to secure it in place. This is not the case of AMD's pro processor where it's using LG, these um, pins like this. It's not LGA. Intel is the one using LGA. And that, those are the ones that are all right with this. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope this has been educational for you. And may you have processors that are, have a long life and not be damaged. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, I hope you can share it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.